So let's take a look at another form of nuclear radiation, beta particles. Once again, you need to know eight facts about this. We first look at the form of a beta particle. And this comes actually from the breakup of a neutron. So we start with a neutron again in one of those unstable uh, nuclei and the neutron decays or breaks up to form a proton which of course is positive and a high energy electron which of course is negative. Notice here one thing to remember here this is an important thing. Um, the electron, so this electron here, this electron is from the nucleus. It is not, it's not an orbital electron. So from this it looks a little bit like a neutron could be made up of a proton and an electron. Let's take a look at the symbol. This is an E. It's not got any mass. So we have a zero for the mass number and the charge is minus one. Or in effect plus one proton if you want to think of it like that. The charge as I said was minus one and the mass is very low compared to the alpha particle uh, compared to the gamma ray it has mass because gamma rays have no mass uh, the speed it's about 90 percent of the speed of light so quite a lot faster than the alpha particle and because it's not got a lot of mass um, it's fairly weak ionizing and it's because of its speed and so on and its size it's going to penetrate more deeply it can be stopped by about 10 millimeters of some metal even something like aluminium it, when we look at the effect of fields on the electron, it's negatively charged, so it's going to be deflected by magnetic and electric fields. And if you remember from the alpha particles, which you should have looked at before this, you can see that the alpha particle is deflected downwards by this magnetic field. And now if we take an example of a beta particle, again coming into this magnetic field, going from left to right on the screen, and this time it, because it's a negative charge, it will be deflected up or down. Remember the alpha is a positive charge, that's deflected down by this magnetic field. In this case the beta particle is deflected upwards but not so much the mass is a lot lower than the alpha so the alpha particle is deflected much more than the beta particle so let's take a look at an example of beta decay and this time we're going to take the element carbon 14 so this is actually an isotope of carbon carbon 14 and the atomic mass is 14 of course and the atomic number is 6 
and it, it goes to beta decay. We can call this beta decay. Of course, we know we have the beta particle, no mass, a charge minus one. And so we must have then something with still with an atomic mass of 14, but this time with an atomic number of seven. So we're going to see a change in the element now. And this element is actually nitrogen. And this is nitrogen. 14 as found in the periodic table. So that's a quick look at beta particles.